challenge you. And for the most part, they do. But occasionally it comes up. It will come up where someone will want to throw down. And they are to be hammered into place by a man. Right? So is it rude? No. Being MGTOW is appropriate. Why? Because every time I take a piss, I look down and I've got two beefy balls. Right? I've got my cock. I go, oh yeah, that's right. You're the man. You have the penis. And I don't, I don't forget it. Everywhere I walk during the day, I remember that I am a man. And I do not act stupid for it. Confident, yes. Some consider it arrogant. But that's only spineless, jelly-brained weaklings they get mad at a man for being confident or arrogant. That's what being a man is about. If you needed to build a bridge, would you go to the mealy mouth uh, guy who's got his nose in the corner and say, hey, build me a bridge, you know, and he'll be hiding. I don't know. You don't want that fucking guy. Right? You want the guy, you go, can you build the bridge? And he says, I can build that bridge. What kind of bridge do you want? I'll make it happen. Arrogant? You got to be a little bit arrogant, Right? But it's not an easy world. And I think men have been told, it's better not to talk. It's better not to speak up. Just back off and leave everyone else alone, right? You don't have to get into it. You can just go away, right? And so they have shunned manhood and shunned being a man to the point where a little guilt and a little shame will get you to shut up. But always they get their way. But when you stand up, when you act like a man, think like a man, and apply it, the feminists learn their place. The manginas and white knights learn their place. In a small story I'll share with you, um, the place where I work has a bar, right? It's a, it's a destination type resort type hospitality situation, right? And I was walking through the bar and there was a Two people in scrubs sitting at the bar, a man and a woman, both nurses. And I said, hey, do you work at the hospital, you know, in town here, this end of town? And they said, yeah, yeah, that's where we work. We come over here after our shift, and we like to have a drink. And uh, I had a laugh because my ex-wife works at the same hospital. And so I walked off, and today the, the bar supervisor uh, said to me, he goes, you know, when you walked off, John... I went over and asked if they knew so-and-so, who's my ex-wife. And they said, oh yeah, we know who that is. And, uh, and the bar manager, the bar supervisor says, well, that's her ex-husband, right? And they went, oh Jesus, we've heard stories, right? And, uh, well, today I walked uh, into the bar and, and the same male nurse was there, but he had four other uh, female nurses with him. And they were having their morning drinks. And I said, hey, how you doing, man? I walked over and talked with them a little bit. And all the women kept their head down. Right? One of them, I said, hey, I know who you are. And she looked up and he goes, oh, yeah, I know who you are. She put her head back down. Right? Apparently, they've seen some of these videos. Right? Apparently, my ex-wife knows that there's MGTOW as freedom videos. And it's me. And I'm not afraid to talk about it. I'm not afraid to talk about women's place. And men's place in life. I'm not ashamed to be MGTOW. I'm not ashamed to be a man. It is wholly and totally appropriate for me to be a man. And I think that those women today had a good idea that they could get, you right, put in their place. They could be talked down to. They could be embarrassed. They could be made to look, sound, like fools, if they tried to address anything with me. They have no authority in my life, right? They're just customers, and they're nice people. They didn't do anything wrong at all. But there have been other times in my life where women are off the hook rude. And when you try standing up to them, they try shaming and guilting you. They try insulting you and putting you down. That's what they do in order to control you as a man, to control me. They tried it. But no longer... And I think they're starting to understand. They're starting to understand. And there's going to be another video I do soon. I have to think about a little more how to present it. 
and when I get some more free time. <laughs> but um, I think they're starting to understand that men who are speaking up, they fucking mean it. You know, we mean it. It's playtime is over, right? The band was paid, right? Now it's time to now it's time to finish the song. And they're gonna have to dance to the tune that they asked for. That's what MGTOW is about. It's about waking men up, letting them know you can go your own way. Right? I'm not ashamed to be a man. Being a man is wholly and totally appropriate. And it can exist in this this mamby pamby multicultural, limp-wristed, overly feminized, bullshit society, right? They haven't destroyed it totally because it's right here, and it's right here, and you guys have it too. As always, I like to talk about things, and I also like to encourage. I like to encourage men to be men. The more of us that are, the more of us that act, the more of us there will be. It's a man's world. Take it back. And that's what you guys are doing. You guys are in the vanguard at the start of this movement. Once again, there'll be more on that later. If you haven't done it, subscribe. Okay, Just subscribe to the channel. And then click that little bell next to it, right down here. Right. That's to give you alerts. If you don't know that, it'll send alerts anytime this channel puts a video out. And share this video with young men, old men, men who may get married. There's boys growing up right now don't know that they're supposed to act like men. Every feeling and fiber inside of them tells them to, sh you know, that they should not shut up, that they should not put up with the crap that's going on, right? That they don't need to be quiet about being a man. But they keep getting hammered on. When they find out there's an entire movement full of mature men, intelligent men, men with backbones and spines who are not ashamed, then they can feel more encouraged to grow up and be men and act like men rather than hiding in the shadows, right? And being afraid, afraid for being what they are and what they were born as. For fuck's sake, right? I was born a man. Don't tell me I can't be one. And don't try and change what I am. And don't try and redefine what a man is. I know what a man is because I am one. And I don't know if it could be expressed in any more clear sentiment than that. So here's to being a man. Semper Fi. Always faithful. You guys have a good day.